Well, the days are ticking by. We've done Victoria, Whistler and now some peaks. Let's keep going. Hi, Michelle here from Travelling Over 60. Come join me on this adventure. So I was up early to do some videoing and this is what the hotel has written down. One degrees, but it feels like minus six. I can say yes to that. It warmed up really quickly. This is the temperature as I got on the coach. Let's check out our layers for today. They're very similar to the last time we were on the coach all day. Jeans, socks, runners, t-shirt, a jumper, and I'll take that jacket. Time to get our map out again. We've finished in some peaks and we're going to have a picnic lunch today with a comfort stop after that and finally end up in Jasper. Let's go. It's a real early start this morning, 6.45 for our bags to be ready for collection, down for breakfast and on the coach by 7.30. Today we're going to be on the coach most of the day. Craig, our tour guide, he's been on that coach and shuffled our seats around so we don't have the front seat anymore. But the views out the side window are just as spectacular. Now we're going to stop at a place called Clearwater to get some bits and pieces for a picnic lunch. This is who greeted us. It's not a bear, but Canada's well known for their yetis as well. Now Clearwater was just a very small town with a few shops, enough to buy some chips and drinks and sandwiches for lunch. So we've headed off again now and we're heading towards Blue River and Eleanor Lake. The views out the window are constantly changing. We've gone from mountains to pine trees, and of course I'm searching for bears still. Around the water's edge, that's where they are. We finally make it, and all the cameras are out. Boy, take a look at this. So we've stopped at Blue River, Eleanor Lake to have a little picnic lunch right on this little lake and here's all my group. Something to keep in mind that when you're traveling overseas not everything tastes the same as your hometown. Of course the sushi and the sandwiches were the same but the drinks even though it was the same brand tasted a little different and those bits and bites were not to our liking. If you're wondering what that dinging is, there's a train coming through. And they're so long in Canada. So we've come for lunch in peace and tranquility. We have the dinging of the train. And chainsaws in the background. But who cares with a view like this? Eleanor Lake was very accessible. We got off the coach and just walked down this little bit of a slope. Everywhere else around, you could just walk around the lake and it was very flat. Okay, it's time for some more photos. I was really taken with this little cottage and how beautiful it was. You might like to take the time now to give me a thumbs up, especially if you're loving all these photos and the information I'm giving you. Getting thumbs up and likes isn't about being popular. It's how YouTube determines whether they put my information out to other people. So I really appreciate your help. Now let's see what Ravi's doing while we're having lunch. Oh, he's cleaning those windows again. Thank you, Ravi. Now we have clean windows to look out and Ravi has a clear view of the road. So we're back on the road again and we're making our way to Mount Robson, and that's where we'll have a comfort break. I think we must be getting closer. The views change to snow-capped mountains again. Here is our stop at Mount Robson. As you can see on the sign there, it tells you Mount Robson, 3,954 meters. It's the highest mountain. There it is there, 
Mount Robson. Mount Robson is spectacular, but look at all the others as well. On such a magnificent day, the sun's shining and it's really hot here. This is telling you the heights of the different mountains. I'll just give you a look. There's Mount Robson. There's a visitor centre here. Let's just come back and go the other way. Like I've already mentioned, there is a visitor centre here at Mount Robson. What a beautiful view with that mountain in the background. There's a huge car park if you're coming in your own car. There is washrooms here and plenty of space to walk around and even some great paths to walk on. You may have even noticed it's very accessible here. The ground is completely flat, no lumps, no bumps, just a small rise to the visitor centre. While you're enjoying the view, let me talk to you about the layers we had on for today. Now, layers is one of the most commonly asked questions about going to Canada and Alaska. That's why I'm talking about it so much. So by the time we got here, it was really hot. So my husband, he went down to just a t-shirt and jeans. And for me, I just had on jeans and a very lightweight jumper with no t-shirt underneath and we did not need our jackets at all. These are some signposts that are telling you the different heights of the different mountains around this spot where we're standing. Our stop here is coming to an end now. We've all stretched our legs, been to the washroom. Oh, there's just one more thing to do. Have you taken your selfie in front of Mount Robson? And if you've been wondering what Ravi's been doing, here he is. Thank you, Ravi. Now, here's a bit of fun for you. What do you think about these photos? Do you think somebody's being beamed down to earth? Or maybe somebody's being sucked up into a spaceship. They were just very unusual photos. The way the light hit the camera and made it look very mysterious. Or even, what about this one? Does it look like somebody's letting off a rocket and crashing into the mountains? Well, that was just a bit of fun. Now, we've had a long day on the coach and I've been searching for bears all day, but we finally made it to Jasper. I've seen all sorts of animals, but I really want to see a bear in the woods. I'm not sure that's going to happen on this trip. Maybe you'd like to comment. Do you think I'll see a bear on my Canada adventure? Hopefully you know what to do. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. And if you want to leave a comment down below, that's where the comments are. Or even the share button. The share button's down below as well. Share it with your friends. It might help somebody else. And if you haven't already subscribed, go across, subscribe to my channel. If you have, thanks so much for doing that. It really helps me. Thanks for supporting my channel. I really appreciate it. This is just a hobby for me and it's great that you're coming along my adventure with me. My next video will be all about what we did in Jasper.